こんにちはジャパニーズポット101ですおはよう東京こんばんはニューヨークこんにちはロンドンみなさんこんにちはなつこです Hi everyone, I'm Jessie Welcome to Lure Beginners Season 1, Lesson 10. Is being allergic to animals weird in Japan? Jesse, what are we going to learn in this lesson? In this lesson, we're going to continue talking about negative adjectives, this time focusing on the category of na adjectives. And where does this lesson's dialogue take place? Emily's in the park talking to the boy with a dog from the last lesson. All right, let's listen to the dialogue. ほんとお姉さん、犬嫌い嫌いじゃないです。でも。でもアレルギーがあります。動物アレルギー犬アレルギーです。犬アレルギー変ですか変じゃないよ。しょうがないよ。ご飯もアレルギーがあるよ。ね、ご飯。Let's hear the conversation one time slowly. Honto, o n e s a n inu, kirai? Kirai ja nai des. Demo, demo, allergi ga arimas. Dobuts allergi? Inu allergi des. 犬アレルギー変ですか変じゃないよ。しょうがないよ。ご飯もアレルギーがあるよ。ね、ご飯。Now let's hear it with the English translation. 本当お姉さん、犬嫌い Really? Miss, do you hate dogs? 嫌いじゃないです。でも I don't hate them, but でも but アレルギーがあります。I'm allergic. 動物アレルギー Allergic to animals? 犬アレルギーです。Allergic to dogs? 犬アレルギー Allergic to dogs? 変ですか Is that weird? 変じゃないよ。しょうがないよ。It's not weird. You can't help it. ご飯もアレルギーがあるよ。ね、ご飯。ご飯 has allergies too. Right, ご飯 So, Natsuko, are you allergic to anything? はい。猫アレルギーです。Neko is cat, so you're allergic to cats? Unfortunately, yes. Oh. Maybe because Japan is a very health conscious country, allergies are quite common. One of the most common is hay fever, which in Japanese is. Kahun sho, or literally, pollen illness. Apparently, 30% of Japanese people have hay fever to some degree. You often see people wearing surgical masks in Japan, especially on public transportation. People with hay fever use these masks to try to reduce their pollen intake. They also sometimes wear glasses with clear lenses to protect their eyes. The government also recommends goggling to reduce the effect of pollen, as well as wearing smooth textured clothes to avoid bringing pollen home with you. Now let's move on to the vocabulary for this lesson. Let's take a look at the vocabulary for this lesson. The first word we shall see is. Honto? Really? ほんとうほんと Next is あります To be, to exist, to have, to be located. ありますあります Next is アレルギー Allergy アレルギーアレルギー Next we have 動物 Animal. 
do, u, b, t, do, b, t. Next is, hen. Weird, funny, strange. He, n, hen. Next is, shou ga nai. Can't be helped. Shou, u, ga, na, i. Shou ga nai. Last we have, mo. Particle that means also. Mo. Mo. Let's have a closer look at the usage for some of the words and phrases from this lesson. What's the first one we're looking at in this lesson? The word allergy. Allergy. Be careful with the pronunciation of this word. It comes from a German root, so the G sound is hard. It's allergy, not allergy. So, Natsuko, we heard it in the dialogue, but how would we say I'm allergic to blank in Japanese? Allergy is a noun in Japanese. So we have to say, I have an allergy to whatever. And the order of the sentence is opposite to English. I'm allergic to dogs, which we heard in the dialogue. For example, it would be, Inu allergy ga arimasu. So you say the thing you're allergic to, then allergy, and then add ga arimasu. So what are some other things people are often allergic to? Let's hear some example sentences. Neko allergy ga arimasu. I'm allergic to cats. Tamago allergy ga arimasu. I'm allergic to eggs. Komugi allergy ga arimasu. I'm allergic to wheat. Gyunyu allergy ga arimasu. I'm allergic to milk. All right, so what's the next phrase? Shou ga nai. It can't be helped. This is a very Japanese phrase, and you'll hear it a lot if you come to Japan. It's used when things are seen as being beyond your control. A good translation into casual English might be, that's life, or what can you do? It can also mean, you're hopeless, as in, shou ga nai yatsu da na. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, there's nothing to be done about a guy like you. All right, and finally, what are we looking at in this lesson? The particle, mo. Also, or to. This replaces particles such as wa, ga, and o. For example, kare wa wakai desu. He's young. Kanojo mo wakai desu. She's also young. Now let's move on to the lesson focus. The focus of this lesson is how to make negative sentences using na adjectives to say things like the room isn't clean or I don't like that. Okay, Natsuko, so first of all, how do we make negative na adjectives? It's very similar to last week's pattern with i adjectives. For example, let's take the na adjective kirei na, clean or beautiful. To make it negative, all you have to do is take away the na and add ja nai to the end. Note that this is the same pattern that we use in negative sentences with nouns minus the na. Yes, that's right. Here's an example. The word kantan na, easy, would become kantan ja nai, not easy. That sounds simple enough. Can we have some other examples? Sure. How about quiet? This is shizuka na. So not quiet would become shizuka ja nai. There are a few words which are verbs in English, but adjectives in Japanese. For example, to be good at something, which is a verb phrase in English, is a na adjective in Japanese. Jōzuna. So to say, I'm not good at sports, for example, would be Watashi wa sports ga jōzu ja nai. Another example are the words for like and dislike. These are verbs in English, but in Japanese, again, they are na adjectives. First, like, which is Sukina. So for example, I don't like melon, would be Melon ga suki ja nai. Just as a side note, in the dialogue, the boy asked Emily, Inu kirai? Do you hate dogs? He missed out the particle ga. You can do this in casual Japanese. So to say, I don't like melon in very casual Japanese, you could say, Melon suki ja nai. Okay, so now how about the word for dislike? Kirai na. Okay, so again, the word for hate or dislike is, Kirai na. I should mention that depending on the tone of voice, the strength of this word can vary. It can range from dislike to hate. Hate can also be expressed by the word dai kirai na. This adds the character for big, dai, to express 
big dislike or hate. You can also do the same thing with skina to express love. Daiskina. Literally, big like or love. Now, Natsuko, can you give us an example sentence with a negative form of dislike? Kirai? Hmm. Let's use the word melon again. Melon ga kirai ja nai desu. I see. So you don't hate melon, but you don't particularly like it either. That's the kind of nuance we get from saying kirai ja nai, right? Yes, that's right. Natsuko, we had the adjective meaning clean or beautiful earlier, right? Yes. Kirei na. Clean or beautiful. Can we have an example sentence? この部屋はきれいじゃない。This room isn't clean. きれいな can mean both clean and beautiful. You have to work out from context which meaning is more appropriate. Okay, listeners, now let's practice. Can you turn the following sentence negative? 漢字は簡単です。Kanji, which are Chinese characters, are easy. Now try saying 漢字 aren't easy in Japanese. Following the pattern we just learned for na adjectives. Kanji wa kantan ja nai desu. Remember, with na adjectives, all you have to do is take away the na and add ja nai to the end. Let's try another. Sakka ga kirai desu. I hate soccer. Now try saying I don't hate soccer in Japanese. サッカーが嫌いじゃないです。All right, how did it go? Well, that's about all the time we have for this lesson. For more detailed explanations of this grammar point and lots more example sentences, please check out the lesson notes. Yes, please do. Please also feel free to ask us any questions or leave us any comments you may have in the lesson comments section on the site. See you next time. じゃあまた。本当お姉さん犬嫌い嫌いじゃないですでもでもアレルギーがあります動物アレルギー犬アレルギーです犬アレルギー変ですか変じゃないよしょうがないよご飯もアレルギーがあるよねご飯。<笑>